Hello everyone, my name is Nana and I'm a developer advocate at Unleash. So in this video, we're going to walk through how to implement feature flags in React. We'll be using an open source React repo, the Unleash React SDK, and um, a local running instance of Unleash to set up the feature flag and connect it to our app. The first thing we'll need is Unleash. Um, so we can clone that repo. I already have it here, so I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead and run it with a docker compose command, docker compose up D. And that should get it going. All right, see the container is started. And I'm gonna navigate to localhost 4242. So we're gonna log in with the general admin credentials. That's admin username and unleash for all. Okay, now we're in. So the next step is to create a feature flag. This is the one that we'll use in the repo that we're gonna clone. Um, and we can do that by clicking new feature toggle. And we need to figure out what to name this feature flag. I'm gonna go ahead and go with new notifications badge. And this is meant to signal that we will be toggling the notification icon that's the top of the navigation menu. We can keep the rest of these fields the same in this form. This should be good to go. And create feature toggle. Awesome, now our flag is created and we can enable this in the development environment so we'll be able to use it in our app. And so the next thing is to create an API access token. We can do that by going to settings here and clicking API access. We're gonna create a new API token and name it something simple like React App. Because this is React SDK that we're using, we're gonna go with the client side SDK that we wanna connect and everything else should be good. The token will have access to the development environment and we can create the token. We're gonna to use this token later to set up the configuration to connect our app to the Unleash server. But for now, we'll just copy that. All right, let's see what the next thing is. So now we're good to clone the open source React app. And I should already have it here. It's called Cypress Real World App. CD Cypress. Okay. Um, the next thing you would do is install npm yarn at latest. Um, I'm gonna use a sudo command so I don't run into any issues. I have done that before and it was annoying. So npm install yarn at latest dash g for global. And cool, okay, so I already have that set up. And the next thing is to run yarn. All right, after that, we're going to run the app and log in. So to do that, we run yarn make that clear, yarn dev. And this already has a database that is pre-filled. So we'll be able to see in this financial transaction app, that's what the um, example, real world uh, example is. Um, we'll see all these transactions between different contacts. And um, so we'll be able to take a look at that. And I think that's running at localhost 3000. Yep. So let's go ahead and load that and see what happens. Okay, so we're at the sign-in page. Um, we already have a uh, username and password available um, in this uh, repo, and that's all of that's listed in the readme. So I'm gonna go with one of the accounts that already exist. That's Ali2, and the password is secret. And now we're logged in to the Real World app. Um, by the way, all of these steps are documented in our tutorial docs for React, so you can follow along easily and copy and paste this code as we're running through this tutorial. Um, but this is what the app looks like. 
Like I said before, we have these public transactions that are listed here, already pre-filled, and a list of friends. We've got account information, bank account stuff, and the big thing to pay attention to here is the notification icon. So this is what we want to be able to toggle using a feature flag. Um, if we want to make this icon available to users, uh, we can roll that out using the Unleash flag and initially hide it behind the flag. So we need to get that flag set up. And in order to do that, we'll first need to add the React SDK into our React repo and then set up the configuration to wrap the flag provider behind um, around the app component. So I'm going to open a new tab inside Cypress Real World app, and I'm going to copy and paste this yarn add command to pull in the React SDK. Let that load. Okay, cool. And now we can go into, um, I'm using VS Code, but go into your code editor and we'll need to import the flag provider from the SDK and then use our client key, our API key that we just created to plug into our configuration and that will authenticate us um, to successfully connect to Unleash Server. Here is the index file where we're gonna make our changes so we'll need this import line, so that will be below line 6 on line 7. We import the flag provider. And then we'll need to use the config object. Copy and paste that right into here. And so the URL is going to point to our local Unleash instance API front end. And this client key is where we'll use our API access token that we just created. Um, so I'll need to grab that in order to do that. Okay, so copying this token and placing it right here. Cool. And then we'll wrap the flag provider around the app component. And we'll plug in the config right here. Config equals curly braces config. We'll save that. All right, so now we have our app hooked up to Unleash and we should be able to start using the flag that we just created. Um, and if we wanna be able to toggle the visibility of this notification icon, that means we need to go into the navbar file where that lives. So I'm gonna to go to navbar in the source components file. And we'll need to use um, this React hook that we have from the SDK called use flag. And this will allow us to check whether or not this um, new notifications bag, uh, badge flag that we just created is enabled or not. So I'm going to use this import use flag line on line 34. And scrolling down to the actual navbar component itself, um, we can reference the flag that we created which will pull in the information of enabled or not enabled. And I'm going to set that to on line 107, notifications badge enabled. So this will return true or false and kind of let us know um, if the flag is on or off. Okay, so now that's in there, we'll need to create a conditional statement and this is going to wrap around this notifications icon. Well really this entire badge that has the icon inside of it um, and we'll do that by modifying this area of the code around 153 to 159. Um, just going to do a quick implementation here. Notifications badge enabled and render this if it's true. So it'll need to be true and true. If it's off, then um, none of the code inside of this section will, um, will matter or the icon won't show. 
Okay, so now that that's set up, we're gonna check inside our, in the browser in the app to see if, um, if it's working. Okay, so we can still see the notification icon at the corner. So that possibly lets us know that the, um, the flag is working and um, the flag is on, so we should be able to see it. But if we want to hide it, uh, we can verify that this toggle is actually working, that the flag is working. We can do that inside our Unleash instance. So I'm going to go to the new notifications batch, um, the flag overview, and I'm going to disable the development environment. All right, so technically the flag should be off and we can verify that by going back to our app in the browser. And here we see that the notification icon is gone. So that means that we could roll out this new feature by toggling um, the flag inside our Unleash instance. And now, that means that we are good to go. So we were able to use our Unleash instance to create a new feature flag and then connect it to our React app using uh, the SDK. And from there, we were able to toggle the visibility of this notification icon feature. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to reach out or have any questions, feel free to join our Slack community. We're always active there, and um, you can also take a closer look at our docs, and we walk through the tutorial that you just watched here. You can use the code, copy and paste, and get everything up and running on your own.